It handles extremely well down the road. It's nice to have the high speed for going longer distances. You know, we're 30 miles probably from our furthest away field. So time is precious in the spring and fall. So it's nice to be able to get there quickly. Pretty consistently, it's been a couple mile an hour faster than the deer. There again, a lot of guys say, oh, a couple miles, doesn't matter. It does matter when you start talking about 30, 40 mile trips. You know, comparing it to the John Deere, when you look out the front window, all you see is a loader. But you also gotta be able to see, and you also gotta be able to operate. And so to me, when you sat into each one, which we did side by side, it was just night and day difference on visibility. It's nice to be able to drive it with the stick or versus driving it with the, you know, with the foot, kind of drives like a car. That's nice for grain carting, actually. All my guys that are savvy with Bluetooth and they'll always hook up to it. And a younger crowd and younger staff, a lot of what we do, you know, in the overnight and got to have young people and that's their deal. I mean, they want to listen to their music while they're operating and then also consequently be able to talk to me when I call and have questions, so. We just are able to continue to use our John Deere Globe and save a little bit of money that way as far as not having to buy multiple subscriptions. It's a plug and play kind of a thing. I said, I'm not committing, just bring it out. You throw all my stuff in there. If the green stuff works and everything works flawlessly, we'll talk. And uh, I did. Everything plugged in, played. You know, I could see it on my phone, on my John Deere apps, everything was coming through. We we're getting the data we needed and everything worked flawless. So that's when we decided to go ahead.